doing the same things, hoping to be a better person, expecting the same things out of the externals, hoping that would be different. The only way that you can conquer yourself and to move past this is the renewing of one's mind. I never like to look back mm -hmm. because it's just, there's really not much in it for me, right? It's just, I always like to look forward. Do I want to look out the windshield or do I want to look through the rear? I'd rather look forward because I know where I'm going then rather than always looking at the back. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generation. And the only way that bill gets paid off is you got to be willing to make the hardest decisions. People will belittle your plan. People will tell you that you have the wrong vision. People will tell you that it will not work. But here's the thing. It's not their vision. It's your vision. It wasn't given to them, but there will be people who will try to tear it down, who will tell you you don't have what it takes. Who will tell you that this is impossible? Who will tell you that you need to be realistic? But nothing great has ever happened from being realistic in their own hearts. Small minds cannot see a big plane. The energy required to start doing something is way more than the energy required to continue doing the thing. And that the beginning of doing anything results in the lowest amount of reward, both internal and external, than when you've been doing it for ages. In order for a man to gain his life, he must lose his life. So you've got to be willing to die to who you are now, to give birth to who you are to become. Understand just how hard it is to work every single day to try to be great. Everybody is excited in the beginning. Like New Year, everybody started in January, Jim's packed every year. You get to February and March, habits matter. Habits matter. Principles matter. How you view what you're doing and trying to accomplish matters. The higher you fly, the deeper you fall. Okay? So, if you want to fly high, do it. But, if you fly high without somebody telling you before you're starting the flight that there will also come the descent, then I think it's kind of blind. Just keep it in mind that there is something in our lifetime which is always balancing out. That's a lesson that people need to hear and learn. It's so important because everybody just wants to be comfortable. Everybody wants to sit on the couch. I don't want to go outside, it's cold. I don't want to do this, it's hot. Like you've got to do things that you don't want to do because you show your body that your mind is the boss. It's telling your body what to do and then you have control. You got to do something, man. Right? If years and years pass and you're just the same dude, then you're not really living in a way. I kind of feel like you're just being pushed through life. I think people are where the f they deserve to be. And if you look at what they did over the last 10 years, their life is going to look exactly what it should look like. If you can't become aware of your own internal dialogue, and you can't start to have control over your own internal dialogue, and you can't start to tell the bitch voice that you have in your head to sit the f down and shut up, you're going to have a very hard time making any year your year. If you want to achieve success, you're going to have to pay the price. And it won't be cheap. It'll be tireless nights, long days, isolation, loneliness, tribulation, heartaches, headaches, and a lot of pain. But on the other side of pain is pleasure. On the other side of pain is success. This idea of being happy is this concept that people have been sold, right? That life is about happiness. Mm -hmm. But what if life wasn't about happiness? What if life is about experiencing every aspect and every emotion that life has? Wouldn't you want to experience the full set and range of emotions that life has to offer you? The sadness, the heartbreaks, the joy. 
the reinvention occurs in the micro actions that you're taking every single day, the tiny little things that, that perhaps no one even notices that are creating muscle memory around new behaviors that perhaps are very uncomfortable to you. Tiny little things repeated over time is what produces dramatic change. So tell yourself the truth about the situation that you're in. That's what we need to do. And it should hurt a little bit, by the way. It should hurt a little bit. There should be aspects of your life that you know you can improve upon. That should hurt a little bit. Here's the cool thing. Take ownership of those things and guess what? It doesn't hurt at all. Now guess who's in control? You are. But if you're having trouble finding discipline, start by telling yourself the truth about what's going on. When you have butterflies and you're feeling anxious and you have anxiety or are nervous, um, that's when you're most powerful, I believe. A lot of people, instead of homing this power and using it, they allow it to just consume them. A big challenge, a big pressure is like a fire. It's like a raging fire. Either you can allow this fire to consume you and just take you over completely, or you can gain control of this fire and harness it. If you can dream it, it can potentially become yours with the right energy input, the amount of work ethic necessary, and a good attitude. Understand that you have one life. How you live it is your choice, but life will pass you by. You don't want to be the person that wakes up 30, 40, 50 years from now and regrets what they did. In failure and in suffering, all the answers are in there. All the answers to all the test questions, the test is your life. All the answers are in there. You have to live in suffering and pain and failure all the time. You have to learn, I need to visit it. You can have what you want in five years, but there's two conditions. You have to know what it is and you have to aim at it. Figure out what you want, write it down. Figure out what you could do to start moving towards that. Develop a vision. And you have to do that in dialogue with yourself, right? It's like, if I could have what I wanted, what would satisfy me? And you might think, well, I could never get that. And I could say, well, maybe not, but I'll tell you one thing, man. You can move towards it. And I know almost all the pleasure is in the moving toward. A friendly reminder that in three generations, everyone who knew us will be dead, including the people whose opinions stopped you from doing what you wanted all along. Imagine that someone you know achieves every dream and hits every goal they have. Years later, they get old and die. Two years after that, how much do you care? About as much as everyone else will if you accomplish your goals and dreams. Do it for you. I'll get to it tomorrow. I'm like, who promised you that? Right? I'll get to it a month from now. I'm like, who promised you that? Right? Because life changes so quick. We live our lives and we feel as if we're promised something. Right, but when you think about it, it's like when we try to control things, but when you really think about the macro of life and the grand scheme of life, we really don't have any control. We can control what we possess, emotions, attitude, thought process, perspective, how we speak, how we respond. But just life in general, we have no control of that. People should know that you never will be able to go through life without failures. Failures make us learn. Uh, failures make you stronger. Pain makes you stronger. So I think all of that is good. Write everything you want on a piece of paper. Everything. I don't care. Use your wildest imagination. If you can think it, you can achieve it. Write it on a piece of paper. Read it every morning and every night. Come back here one year from today and see how much of that stuff then came true. Those who have left their mark in this world believe that they were chosen for something great. And a lot of us think that it's just the special ones who get to live out their dreams. It's not those who are special. It's those who believe. It's not those who are magically chosen. It's those who choose to be chosen. Epictetus' question was, how much longer are you going to wait to demand the best of yourself? We all know we have potential. We all know we have things we need to stop doing. We all know we have things that we should start doing, but we tell ourselves we'll do it later. But will you? Consistency, 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 man. That's the name of the game, bro. Don't get much simpler than that. If you keep going every single day and don't stop, they ain't ready for prime time. They ain't trying to really get right. Grind every day, one foot in front of the other, bro. And I promise you, I'm gonna be lapping these folks, bro. Give it a year. Watch what happens.